Ken Milafaucha, everyone. We are in Ireland, and I am in the locals' home, about to enjoy a very good Irish meal here at Kay's home, who's cutting up the bread right now. <laughs> Already, <laughs> Kay is a longtime viewer, has been watching Urbanist before Urbanist even started, and you made some authentic <laughs> Irish bread. <laughs> yeah, Irish soda bread. Oh my god. And you made this uh, from scratch, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Amazing. That's really cool. I'm yeah. so excited. I am super famished uh, after having two good pints of Smithwicks, right? That's the name? Smithix. Smithix. We had Kilkenny Ale today. Kilkenny. Kilkenny Ale yeah. at Smithix. And right now we're going to have some Irish stew. And right now we are in Kay's home who was so grateful to invite a few hundred people over. <laughs> You're all welcome. You're all welcome. <laughs> for for a very good Irish meal. So is usually the bread served with the meal or is it comes before the meal? Oh no, you can have it at any time. Any time. Any okay. time, yeah. 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 It's any funny. excuse to have the, the, the butter with the bread. <laughs> it's funny, in Ireland there's really no not that many rules. No, no, with, no. With, you can have your, your brown bread at any time. <laughs> any time. And then the stew was made here in the slow cooker. And then fresh potatoes as well. Yeah, fresh is, organic potatoes. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, what, what beer is this one? That is the Kilkenny beer, isn't it? That Kilkenny. one, yeah. We'll show the can. Yeah, Kilkenny beer. Pint of Guinness for dessert, says John Cahill. <laughs> the I Kilkenny draft beer. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. Which is a cream ale. And Marianne says, uh, uh, thanks for the invite. It looks good. So tell us what, what's on the plate. Right. We have yeah. organic uh, potatoes. And we have a stew made with organic beef, carrots, and parsnips. Oh, parsnips. Okay. Mm. And that's commonly used in like yeah, Irish cuisine. Right, yeah. So let me show a close up. And of course, potatoes basically everywhere. Yeah. You find yeah. It. yeah. That's beautiful. Served, of course, with the homemade brown bread and lashings a bushel. <laughs> so it's, it's uh, more important to have your bread with butter. It's more important to have the butter with the bread. <laughs> the butter with the bread. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so can you show us a true uh, serving of butter bread? <laughs> All right. Before we dig in deep. No half measures. You might as well just take <laughs> Ireland is the anti-Italy, ladies and gentlemen. There is no rules here. You just got you... to make sure you have a decent smothering of bread on butter on the bread. Make sure it's all covered evenly. And there you are. <laughs> Proper soda bread. There we go. Butter. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, let's try this out. <laughs> I'm so I'm super excited for this. Uh, really, I haven't had a good Irish meal yet. Homemade. This is my first homemade. Homemade, Irish meal. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. And I wish I had a tripod. Um, okay, let me put this over here. Just finding the best angle. <laughs> but I'll try it out first over here. All right. So let's try a good Irish meal. Let's see this. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. The potatoes are so flavorful. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, in terms yeah. of you don't need to add anything to them, actually. They're just really nice. Strong aroma to them. And it's so piping hot, even though you've been slow cooking it for mm. hours. All right. Look at this. Beautiful chunks of beef. Oh my God. <laughs> so you do a beef, no lamb. No I do lamb. beef. Oh my God. <laughs> Meets with your approval, yes? It, it does. It does. <laughs> oh, you got you found some good beef too. Yeah. It's so tender and so yeah. so nice and soft. And um, I love the huge serving of carrots. 
I, I go crazy for carrots. I love I love uh I love the stews with a whole lot of carrots. Oh yeah. Yeah. So very good, super tender. The sauce is nice and thick, as opposed to what I had yesterday, which was kind of very watery. Yeah. So it's it's very nice and thick sauce. Let me show it to you. So you like making this, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's easy to make. <laughs> And how do you get the sauce thicker than uh, kind of your typical watery stew, more like a soup stew? You just add a little bit of flour into the water. That's all you do. Just make sure you mix it up properly. Oh, oh fascinating. So that it doesn't go lumpy. Okay. Mm. And then there's like good Irish flour here, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, because I noticed the bread here is really good yeah. quality. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fascinating. All right. That's amazing. <laughs> and then you love cooking like a huge variety of different foods, Oh, right? yeah. I yeah. like cooking. Yeah. Oh, you do. Mm. Nice. And uh, what, what other types of things do you usually cook? Uh, I do a good curry. Mm. Uh, chicken stews. Um, then you've got the kind of pies, you know, steak and Guinness pie, apple crumble, apple tarts, the basic stuff, really. Oh, my God. Apple crumble as well? That's amazing. <laughs> All right, you'll have an apple crumble. <laughs> Is the recipe available anywhere online? No, it's my own made-up recipe. It's a secret. It's a trade <laughs> secret. <laughs> With some good beer. Here is some cream ale. Oh, that is very different. Mm. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes like a creamier. Yeah. It? It, it almost tastes like a, like a light bailey. Yeah. Yeah, that's so interesting. Mm. Like a cream soda. That's so weird. Okay, that is very interesting. Very interesting flavor. I like Smithix better, but this one has a very unique taste to it. So it's Kilkenny Cream Ale. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's called, yeah. All right, let me try the bread now and the potatoes. <laughs> All right, the potatoes. The potatoes. Mmm. Oh, wow, the super creamy, you don't need to mash these up no. at all. So, super creamy, you don't need to mash them up at all. A little bit of black pepper. That's and that all you it. need on yeah. them, yeah. And they, they taste buttery on their own. Yeah. You did not put butter no, here. No, nothing. No butter involved in these potatoes, and yet they still taste like buttered up potatoes that you would have in America. That's amazing. Mmm. Oh, my God. You can eat these potatoes alone. Yeah, I uh. like them actually alone. I do. Right, yeah. right. And the super buttery up bread. <laughs> Whoa. That's a lot of butter. Oh my God. That's I can... good though. As I mentioned before, I can taste the udders of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> this cow lived a good life. Yeah. Good, rich life. <laughs> right, right. He, he definitely hung out by an abbey. <laughs> Said hello to the local monks. <laughs> but I love that your bread, your bread is almost like, um, has almost like a cakey style to it. Mm. Um, and it, it to me, it tastes almost like uh, banana bread from the U.S. In terms of uh, the, the consistency. Yeah, the consistency the of consistency. it, yeah. Now, yeah. Now, you don't have any fruits involved in here, no, of course. No, nothing at all, no. Um, but how, how, how does one make bread this kind of fluffy and... and... It, all it is yeah. is wholemeal bread, mm -hmm. plain flour, bread soda, and buttermilk with a pinch of salt. Mm, okay. That's all it is. That's it, wow. Yeah. Mm. Well, it takes a while to enjoy it. Why the carbonated water or the bicarbonate? That helps it rise. So that's like a trick yeah. to rise. So you don't need to do bread that kind of the slow way. No, no. As you would do with the sourdough or no, something. No, like that. no. Oh, I see. Okay. Because you made sourdough before. Yeah, I did, yeah. And it takes like a... Oh. You, <laughs> you said, yeah, yeah. That, that was exactly the response. You told me about it. Yeah. It takes like way too long. Way too long, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. And how long does it take to, take to make the stew? Uh, well, it all depends. You can leave it, it... The stew is always better if you make it the day before you need it. 
Okay. It always is better. Mm. You know, a stew is not the type of thing that you would actually cook and eat. You have to make it the day before. Mm. That's good to know. Wow. No, oh, so good. <laughs> mm. So everyone, highly recommend coming to Kay's house. <laughs> <laughs> Kay's not a restaurant door, Airbnb. But <laughs> if you're lucky enough to become Kay's friend and get to know her, <laughs> then maybe she'll make you a nice stew. <laughs> uh, Susie says it ages well. Uh, <laughs> Dinda says, send us the address. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia, hey, uh, Rosemary says, stop. <laughs> show, show us the stew, says Helen. We'll do. Here, close up with the stew. Let's do a super close up. ¿Cuál es importante uh, más para que a consumir orgánico? So, Manny, great question. I'll translate in Spanish. What is the most important thing you uh, think in terms of what should be organic of this meal? I think everything as much as you can. Uh, so, Manny, di, eh, Kay dice que todo que es posible a tener orgánico es, me es mejor. Um, so, basically, everything here you If you can, product, yeah, right? if you can, yeah. yeah, everything should be organic. I think the only thing that's not organic in there is the parsnips. The parsnips, okay. Yeah. So, solo parsnips, yo no sé cómo se dice en español, pues solo parsnips no, no son uh, orgánico. Pero sugiero que la carne debe ser orgánico. I suggest that the meat should be organic, mm -hmm. right? The oh, meat. Definitely, definitely the meat. Because yeah. that's what you're tasting up front. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you need organic. And Daryl says, hello from Chicago. And Wendy says, we're knocking on the door waiting for some stew. <laughs> <laughs> and Laureen, hey, Laureen, nice to see you here. And uh, Helen says, looks nice. Helen from Dublin. Oh, please. hi, Helen. <laughs> and oh my God, that looks so good, says Brian. It really is. Oh my God. And I love the bread. Kay, Kay, you truly make some amazing bread. I'm going to take a few loaves uh, back home with me. Of course you can. <laughs> I'll make you some to take home. Uh, we have 99 people joining us on the table, yeah. Do you have a, do, do you try any tato chips, says Eugene? I have not tried Irish kind of uh, fast food, uh, concession food yet. Oh, taste tato sandwich. Yeah, I have not tried that, yeah. Is it, is it any good? <laughs> I love a tato sandwich. <laughs> okay, okay. So it seems like a good, especially when you're hungover, I assume. Yes, yeah. definitely. Definitely. <laughs> and now feel free to ask any last questions. I'm going to have one more bite. That's amazing. Well, I'm going to have a lot more bites, but on camera, I'll have one more bite. I just yeah. know Ariel will be send me, sending me some of that meal, says Laureen. Yeah, is it possible to email some of this meal? I wish I could. <laughs> there is some left over, actually. There's enough there for another meal. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> there is. <laughs> All right, let me have a, a few more bites. Feel free to ask me any questions or Kay any questions. And then I'll show you the magnets. That oh, yeah, are, of course. Yeah. Or on your fridge. He's in heaven. <laughs> As you say that with actual blue wall behind me. <laughs> this is so damn good. <laughs> and it keeps so warm. Because you, yeah. <laughs> Despite it laying here on the table for a good 15 minutes. Oh my god. I love the huge chunks of carrots. Mmm. This cow died happy. <laughs> good, good, good example of a happy life is with this cow. He died happy. He did and, have it. Yeah. He lived a, a, a long life and now he's on our plate. Mm. Dindin says, Ariel may not come to New York City. George says it's a small approval. How did those potatoes get seasoned? Okay, the hard questions. Some black pepper on them. That's all. I, I didn't see. boil them, I steamed them. Do you use salt while boiling? No, I don't use salt. I never use salt in any of my cooking. There's no salt involved in no. this? No, it's all it's, natural. It's crazy to think about. Yeah. 
Wow, it has so much flavor. Just uh... yeah, I don't use salt at all in any of my cooking. Wow. Okay. So um, not even the meat. You didn't no, salt the meat. Either? Nothing. Oh, no, wow, nothing okay. at all. And wow. um, the only thing I ever use is black pepper. That's all I ever use. Mm. You know, I just you saw yourself. I steamed the potatoes. I didn't boil them. Steam mm. them because it holds the flavor. And then you just put a bit of black pepper on them before you serve them. That's it. That's amazing. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, they have so much flavor without any salt and yeah. any seasoning. Because in America, usually I end up uh, putting thyme, sage, a no. bunch of other herbs to potatoes to make them yeah. taste somewhat. The secret edible. is to actually taste your food before you add anything to it. Mm -hmm. You know. This potato almost you could use it as a butter. Yeah. Like you can even smash it on the bread. Yeah. And it'll taste really interesting. Yeah. Um, that's a brown stew, uh, says Helen, uh, when uh, most of them are white. Yeah. Yeah, so do they have a different color? You can get a white stew as well, yeah, okay. where the, um, the gravy is only thickened using just flour with the water. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we're having a brown stew right now. And Lorraine says, thank you for the tip. Yeah, you do have to find good potatoes. Uh, but luckily, Ireland already produces great potatoes. Yeah. yeah. Not, not many of these ingredients are actually imported. No, all, none of them right? are actually. Right. None, none, of them. none of them. None of them. No. Oh my God, this is a full Irish meal. Oh my God. <laughs> in an Irish home. In the middle of an Irish city. <laughs> <laughs> this is full on Irish with some Irish beer as See, well. See, you can't get it. It's 100% Irish. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's so cool. So no bananas or mangoes involved in this. No, the only bananas are over there. <laughs> there are bananas in the home, which is nice. Uh, Kay, please send us their bread recipe. <laughs> All it is is brown flour, wholemeal flour, obviously, mm -hmm. plain white flour, bicarbonate of soda or bread soda, it's the same thing, and buttermilk. And buttermilk. And a pinch of salt. But the thing is, the buttermilk is... Also Irish buttermilk. Oh, yeah, it has so, to be, yeah. yeah. So the cows also lived a good life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they're still living a good life. They're because, still living a good yeah, life. Because they were milk. So you saw them yesterday smiling at you, didn't you? <laughs> right, I did. <laughs> right by the abbey. So this, uh, this is the cow that we're actually uh, eating part of. <laughs> it was right by the abbey yesterday. Uh, and Ireland is the most food secure country in the world, says Veronica. Yeah, it's a very agricultural country. Um, so I'm going to keep enjoying this meal. So if you have any last remaining questions for Kay, feel free to ask. Uh, Kay, thank you so much for inviting all of us over. Hundreds nope. of uh, people. That's fine. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. <laughs> there are still some left over, actually. If you want <laughs> Don't say that because that people might show up. <laughs> so let me show you the magnets. Uh, Kay, um, What's the collection with the magnets that you have here? I try and collect a magnet from every place I go to. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. So you have here from all around the world, the red light district in Holland, Rome, Malaga, Spain. Jamaica. Jama yeah, you have a, quite a few of Jamaica. I love Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, Sicily, Dubai. Um, Dubai right over here. Yeah. You have the Titanic. Also, you went to Belfast? <coughs> no, I actually... Excuse me. No worries. <coughs> I got that actually at Dublin Airport. Dublin Airport, okay. So that was one place I didn't go to. Monaco, Villamore. Francisco. Oh, that's wonderful. And then New York, where... Oh, here it is. Yeah. Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas as well. Interesting. Oh, Las Vegas, yeah. And then let's go further down. The cruises. Naples. Naples right there. Such a traveler, says Vasellos. Yes, Kay is quite a traveler. You went to London as well? Yeah. yeah. Malaga, Lanzarote. Lanzarote. Oh, where's Lanzarote? It's one of the Canary Islands. And then you have the TARDIS. Yeah. That's how you get to all these places. Yeah, right? I used the TARDIS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AKA cruise ships. That's uh, <laughs> one, one method. And then uh, I'll show the potatoes over here so you can get to see how they're cooked. Was Kay born and raised here? Kay is an uh, uh, Irish local for many, many years. Yeah. Many, many years. Um, but you have a little bit of uh, um, London in you or yeah. Britain in you. Yeah. And right here is a stew. That's what's left if anybody That's... wants it. All right, everyone. <laughs> Claim it now or forever hold your peace.
Kay has been to cities in the U.S. What's your favorite city in the U.S. aside, aside from New York? I didn't like San Francisco. Okay. Yeah. But I did fall in... I, it was the other way around. I wasn't looking forward to going to San Francisco. I was, no, I was looking forward to going to San Francisco, but I wasn't looking forward to going to Las Vegas. And it turned out the other way around. I didn't like San Francisco, but I fell in love with Las Vegas. <laughs> Las Vegas is, is in, interestingly enough a uh, very fascinating city. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. And Kay steams the potatoes. Interesting, says Andy. Yes. And uh, Renee says, enjoy, Fautra. And you're such a traveler, Kay, says Irene. Uh, you have been to South America? No. Oh, interesting. So have you been to South America, Asia, or Africa yet? No. Okay, okay. No, not okay, yet. So still, still, still those continents. But I, do you intend, where do you intend on going first in any of those continents? Um, most probably South America. Oh, fascinating. Oh, cool. I have been to Mexico. Oh, cool. Um, I've been to Mexico a couple of times, but um, yeah, I haven't really kind of... Lorraine says you're welcome to come to Australia. I've been. Lorraine from Aussie. Yeah. I've been. Oh, you've been? Oh, cool. <laughs> and ask Kate to send me the recipes, says Helen. <laughs> Trade secrets, Helen. What made you like Vegas? Was a quick one sentence. I what don't do you like? know. I just kind of... It was just my type of town, as the song says. You know, it was just my type of place. Um, Ariel, your dinner is getting cold. Oh, uh, George, don't worry. Kay cooked this so well that it'll get better as it gets more room temperature, even more. <laughs> and uh, Kaiser says, uh, Chile, uh, they have mantequilla. Let's see. Oh, so in Chile, they actually have Kerrygold butter. Oh, good. Yeah, which is um, kind of, wow, that's kind of crazy. And have you been to Niagara Falls yet? As no, they... I haven't. No, okay. Oh, interesting. All right, everyone. So now I got to get to eating. Thank you so much for joining in this broadcast with uh, Irish local eating Irish food, Irish potatoes, Irish bread, Irish beer. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and join us tomorrow for the Irish steak and Guinness pie. <laughs> Every, everything, everything is Irish. <laughs> Hundred percent. We're not. We're not BSing around. No, no, no. <laughs> we're not fecking around. No, it's actually that's a new word for you now. Fecking around, huh? Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. And I always do a wave goodbye. So join me inside here. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs>